Domac Group in Abuja unveiled the new managing director of Domac Shelter Limited and also unveiled the Domac Garden Safety Master Plan. Speaking at the event, the incoming managing director, Domac Shelter Limited, Barista Esel Gone Theo Ajakeya, thanked the group for giving her the opportunity to serve the people. She said the new management will continue from the already existing platform but with strong focus on commitment, accountability and timely delivery of goals. The MD reiterated that the focus of the group, which is providing affordable housing to the low-income earners, will be upheld. My profound gratitude goes to the chairman, Don Mark Group, Dr. Abbas Kingston, Mike Azonobi, and Sir Ahmed Thank you so much for believing in me. Sir, I will give very great hope. I do not in any way take this for granted. The components of all the companies that form the umbrella company known as Dorma Group. Here we are saddled with the responsibility of creating cutting edge innovation in the business world. While in the past we have found our footing in the real estate market, we are now reinvented to be a force to reckon with when it comes to providing shelter that is houses for the people. Our focus has always been. I will remain with the low in income earners and the low struggles. No management will run on existing platforms, but with strong focus on commitment, timely delivery, accountability, world class innovation. We are extending our business frontiers to other areas, which we shall be unveiling from time to time. So keep your ears open. We are a friendly company. We are open to your suggestions, to anything that will promote the good we. Of the company. Dr. Kingsley Azonobi, who stepped down from the position of the managing director of Domac Shelter to become the chairman of Domac Group, lauded Ajakea for her giant strides towards the growth of the company. According to him, Ajakea has been a critical part of the company from inception, supporting its growth through legal counseling to the board. The chairman also said that the unveiling of the Doma Garden City is a dream come true, a dream which started about a decade ago and is now a reality. As I stand before you today to give my speech, I see that the participants of today's press release are significant players in this wonderful, a great history making event. Indeed, history is about to be created today. And I'm glad to be part of it. I'm also glad that we are all part of this history. Indeed, the dream, the dream, Boma, Garden City, that we have all been waiting for, will be given birth and, and delivered today. We are all gathered here today for the unveiling of two very significant events. Two. These two events would say presently constitute part of the soul and destiny of Doma Group as a corporate entity. First, it is the official unveiling of Nigeria's most eventful and impactful project known as Doma Garden City. The second event is in respect of the emerging of a new leadership for the premier company under our group. That is the unveiling of a new managing director and CEO of Doma Shelter Limited, the office that I have occupied for the past nine years. Before I registered this company, someone who followed my antecedents, who followed me from day one, even when all things were all down, she was there. She followed me, she rendered both legal services for free. And that is the person we are unveiling today. That is the person that truly, from the beginning, that believe in this vision. And I have been fighting hard to bring her into the company. Not until God's time. And we agreed. And I approached her and said, please, I want you to take over. To the glory of God, we unveil to you Doma Garden City, the greatest city in South Africa.